Hey everybody, uh, so this is the very first video I'm going to be posting on my new YouTube channel. <laughs> um, I am, um, I'm going to give you some background about me, but I am getting into the world of uh, junk journaling and I am super excited about it, but decided I wanted to document my process and, um, and get feedback from people all over the place. Um, so I figured YouTube was the easiest way to do that because a lot of the content creators that I follow do junk journaling um, in, uh, on TikTok and on YouTube. So a uh, few things about me. I am originally from Northeast Tennessee uh, in a little area called Johnson City. Um, you might have heard of Johnson City if you like the song Wagon Wheel. <laughs> uh, we always shout that line. Um, and then uh, I moved here um, almost a year ago now to Bluffton, South Carolina. So I live in Bluffton, South Carolina, which if you're not really sure where that is, it's a small town. It's right outside of Hilton Head Island. You have to drive through Bluffton to get onto the island of Hilton Head. Uh, so we are super close to the beach. We love coastal South Carolina. Um, the reason I mentioned that, though, is because I went and did a Goodwill uh, run yesterday when I decided to um, start junk journaling. I didn't decide yesterday, but I, I did go do some um, some running around Goodwills and things like that uh, to get some supplies. I really didn't have to. Um, some background about me. I actually uh, am an art teacher. Um, I teach exclusively um, virtual uh, now. And so I, I have a ton of art supplies like shelves. I could show you here shelves and shelves of art supplies. So I'm not hurting for art supplies by any means, um, but decided I wanted to go look um, and get some inspiration. And I figured, you know, with junk journaling, sometimes you use materials that aren't traditional. Um, and so I figured if I go to Goodwill, I might get some ideas on how to use things that maybe I didn't realize I wanted to use. Um, so I went and I did um, a run to two different Goodwills in Bluffton. I will say around my area, we have a lot of Goodwills. Um, I'm about 20 minutes from Savannah. I know we have a Goodwill Benz, which I would go crazy. <laughs> at. Um, uh, so we've got the Goodwills down there. Um, and then I think there are regular Goodwills. There are some Goodwills on Hilton Head Island. Those are the Goodwill boutiques. Um, and then there's two regular Goodwills in the town of Bluffton. I only went to those two. I literally spent half of my day shopping for junk journal art supplies. Uh, so I went to um, one Goodwill and then another Goodwill. And then I went to Dollar Tree to round it out um, just to get a couple of things to make sure that I had fresh supplies. Because, you know, when you're an art teacher, you let things sit sometimes and um, wanted to make sure I had wet glue, um, that my glue wasn't crusty <laughs> and uh, things like that. So I'm going to show you in several different clips here um, that I'm going to stitch together, hopefully. Um, what I got at the first Goodwill, I spent $28, I think, $28.01, something like that. And then the second Goodwill, I spent $59 um, even. And that sounds like a lot, but you're going to be surprised at all I got. And then at um, Dollar Tree, I spent another $21. Let me, let me double check because I, I know the exact totals here. So I'm going to, I'm going to double check because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, but I want you guys to tell me, um, anybody that's watching, do you think that I did a pretty good job at getting things? So 2801 at the first Goodwill, 59 even at the second Goodwill, and then 2108. 2108 at the Dollar Tree. And some of that was like personal stuff. Um, you'll see, I'll pull out um, what I bought. And uh, if it's well-priced, because again, I, some of these supplies, I haven't necessarily gone and priced for any reason because I, I wouldn't have them um, unless they would were donated to me or given to me. Somebody was getting rid of them or something. Um, so some of this stuff I would not have been looking for to begin with. Um, but you can tell me maybe you have um, more experience with finding these things in um, a thrift store. And uh, I just wanted to kind of do like a quick little 
Um, and it ended up being not so quick when I filmed it, but a quick little haul video to show you what all I found in just one day um, running around to the, the local Goodwills here. I will say that the Goodwills back home in Tennessee um, are much cheaper. <laughs> so that's something I knew going into it. I, I There were things I didn't pick up because I knew they shouldn't be that expensive. Like they may be cheaper at Dollar Tree or wherever at Office Max or Staples or wherever. Um, but uh, a lot of the things that I bought, I didn't know if they would be cheaper. So I bought them anyway. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that I got a good deal on them or if I can find them cheaper somewhere how you might use them, use these materials in your junk journal. Um, I am following several creators. I know one of the creators that I'm really crazy about everything she does, uh, Paper Terrace, um, and several others. I'll, I'll link um, below who I'm following if I can remember. Um, but maybe suggest some other creators or, or link your YouTube. Um, if you are a creator and do junk journaling, I love to follow people. I love to get ideas. Um, and give me some ideas of what to do with some of the, the supplies that I found. Um, I do kind of walk through what I'm planning to do with those things, um, but you may have a better idea. <laughs> so um, just kind of connect with me and let me know if you think that I did a good job finding all of the supplies. I spent around a hundred bucks, um, maybe a little bit more, 110, um, on all the things I found. Granted, all of those things I probably didn't need, um, but I did get lots of things to play with and it kind of inspired me to start creating and I did start doing um, a little bit of journaling last night. So um, let me know in the comments what you think and connect with me and I will be more than happy to follow and, uh, and, and share and collaborate. Okay, so um, this is gonna be from the first Goodwill. This is the haul from the very first um, location that I went to today. And I'm sorry for the angle, you're propped up on a book right now in my office <laughs> so that I can try to show you everything that I got. Um, FYI, the Goodwills in my area do not have bags. So you have to take your own bags. Um, so this is my bag um, that, I, that I took. It's just a nylon bag um, that I use for shopping. And I got these off Amazon. I love them. Okay, so the first thing I came across was this little case. Um, let me see if I can get it in the shot here. And it was $1.99. Um, like I said, our Goodwills are a little bit more expensive than, um, than back home in Tennessee. Um, but this has all this space for ephemera and pages and pieces of paper and things, smaller pieces of paper. They had a large one too for big pieces, but it was $4.99. So I just decided to get this and see how it worked out. Um, and if it's still there when I go back and, and decide um, that I want it, I can get it. Um, but I thought this was a great deal for as much space as it has in it. And then I found a box of clear label dividers. I figured I could do a lot with these. I could use both sides. Um, they do have hole punch um, already in them. Um, and they're thin enough that I could use them for pockets or, um, you know, just for paper or whatever I wanted to do. But um, there's a ton of it in here. And this was, I forget, uh, $1.99 for this big box. Um, it says 25 sets. I don't know how much there are, but I mean, there's a ton. So they're all fresh and new, they look like. So I was super excited about that. Tell me if you think that's a good deal. And then I found this little pad of paper that had ribbon to tie it together. It was $1.99. Um, it actually only has 25 sheets, it looks like, because somebody um, probably has used them. But they have all kinds of different patterns, and I thought that was great. For $1.99, um, you really can't go wrong um, with these two little packs of paper. So I got those. And then I got two of these. I wasn't sure really because they weren't open um, what they look like or feel like. They're professional HP brochure and flyer gloss paper. Um, and there's 50 in each box. I got two boxes and they were 99 cents. Um, so let's open that. I want to see. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to be getting. 
because I don't really remember looking at brochure paper um, and it's sealed, so nobody has used this. It would be a good idea to have my scissors out. I've got to do all this before my fiance gets home because he is going to be probably furious that I bought this much. <laughs> okay. So this is really glossy paper, um, glossy on both sides. So um, I, I don't know, this might be interesting for pockets. Um, it's kind of thick, it's thicker than copier paper, but um, I don't know, I figured for 99 cents, I could figure out something to do with that. So I have two full boxes of that unopened. That's exciting. And then um, I found these, which are, um, like W2 sized envelopes, which I thought was cool because normally when you see envelopes at um, thrift stores and whatnot, they're the small envelopes um, or the just the legal size, but these have the little security windows and they're big. Um, I would have to do something with them, but I bought two of those because they were 99 cents and they had a ton more. Um, so if I use these up, I'll go buy more, but they had like probably 15 boxes of these. Um, so I thought that was going to be great because some of the junk journal people that I've been following use these, um, little security windows or little, um, envelope windows as part of the pockets. So I got two of those. I did find this little bit of lace. Um, it's not really a lace. It's really a scalloped edge ribbon. And you know, this is from Dollar Tree. So I would have paid a dollar for it either way, but it was 99 cents. And I thought it was cute ribbon. Um, I don't have any like this. So I went ahead and bought it. I don't know that there's that much. There's, there's a, a, a few, a few, um, rows of it, but I just thought that was really cute. And then I found, this was the thing that I found that I was super surprised by. Um, these paper rolls, they're two and a quarter inches, and there's three rolls in here. I got it for $2.99, um, but I thought these would be fun to do little stamps on or, um, I don't know, stickers or make my own like washi tape with this. It's it's pretty thick. Um, there's three rolls, and it's I'm sure it's really thin paper because this is like receipt paper, um, but I thought that was really good, a really good deal a really good deal for kind of a different type of um, paper, $2.99. So let me know, you know, do you think that's a good deal? Um, it might be cheaper in the store. I don't know. I've never priced this type of paper, but I didn't even think about it. Didn't even think that this was something that I would be looking for. So that's the, that's the fun of going to Goodwill to find supplies, I think, is you kind of figure out um, that you can buy things that maybe you didn't know you uh, wanted to buy. And I bought two scarves because I've seen, um, and these are pretty thin, but they, they were 99 cents. Um, and I thought they were pretty patterns and pretty colors um, to go on maybe my junk journal cover or to maybe to just embellish with. So I bought those. They were, t um, a, they were 99 cents a piece. So I bought two of them. And that was it for that bag, but I had two bags in each Goodwill. <laughs> and I bought books. Um, these are not for junk journal. This is just, um, I found these <laughs> and they were 99 cents, but they look like they're for a United flight. And they had, um, when you open them up, they have little supplies. So I thought this would be cute to keep in my car in case, um, in case I'm traveling somewhere or maybe for, um, uh, maybe if, if I'm really like, if I run across somebody who needs help or needs something, um, but it has all the stuff unused in it. And I, I found two of them, um, tissues and all that good stuff. I figured this would be good to have in my car um, in case I end up on a road trip and, and don't have any stuff with me. It even has like some nice, looks like some nice um, pillow mist and moisturizer and hand cream and all that cool stuff. So 99 cents, I thought this was great. And I can reuse this as um, like a packing organizer when I'm packing to go out of town, because I do that quite a bit. Um, so I found two of them, which is great because my fiance can have one. But those are not for junk journaling. They are just 
um, in general things that I bought. And I think that's the only thing that I bought not for junk journaling, except for I did get this baking um, all year round book. It's a, um, a Target exclusive. I don't know who this person is. Uh, she's super cute, Rosanna Pansino. Um, but they just looked so yummy, and it was literally um, every season, every holiday has little things to bake. So I did buy that for myself because uh, the books were dollar seventy nine, I think, in my store. Um, okay, and then I bought these books to junk journal with. Um, actually, I bought this Lori Foster and this Kristen Hannah to read. Um, but these, these four, I bought to junk journal with. And this is a pocketbook of great operas. And I just thought it would be fun to have. I mean, the pages are ancient, it looks like. Um, this was a 1955 or copyright. Yeah, 1955, I think. Um, Verdi, Adia, um, Rossini, La Boheme, um, Carmen, lots of little things. I thought it would be fun to have these um, for, you know, pages and um, ephemera and things like that. I think there may be pictures somewhere. Yeah, some pictures, which might be fun to incorporate somehow. And then Henry VIII, um, or Henry IV, sorry. Um, I'm really showing my teacher brain right now. Um, I just thought these would be fun backgrounds too um, with the the different parts and the names and everything. I kind of pay attention to the text sometimes and there's some writing in the margins, which I think is fun. Um, and this was a cute little book. I think the kids' books were like $1.19 instead of $1.79. So I got this for like $1.19. Um, but it just had some cute... Um, illustrations, but also the patterns. I noticed the patterns were really pretty. So when I tear this apart, uh, I'm gonna probably use some of these patterns just for fun and interest. And then this one was the surprise for me. This is a Hebrew grammar book and it had with it like a, a Hebrew grammar card um, and some things in here, but the pages are literally just Hebrew. So I thought these would be really pretty to incorporate um, you know, on the, on the pages and as ephemera and things, uh, I'm, I'm just super interested in, in foreign language and things like that and, uh, and different charts. So I thought that would be cool. So that was my first, um, haul and I'm going to show you my second haul next. Okay. So this is the second haul from today, um, at the second Goodwill. Some of this stuff I bought just for me. Um, but you can tell me, I bought these for me because they were 99 cents, but they're plate, uh, separators. Just, um, whenever you pack your plates to keep them from scuffing each other and stuff, I figured 99 cents, I can use that for sure. Um, and then this is another one of my things that I like to do. Um, it's for holding up furniture when you paint. Um, and you know, I figured $1.99, um, Heck yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and buy that. But I found the same um, brand of tools right next to it. And this is a silicone silicone glue tool. Um, and I'm gonna try to put it all in here. It was $1.99 for two of these. And you can see it has these little rubber um, spreaders like you can use the glue um, or spread the glue with those. And then this has a scraper and it's pretty, um, pretty sharp. And it says that the dried glue peels off, leaving the brush like new. And the pictures on the back um, kind of show you, like, you can just peel it off in one sheet. So, I was like, that's always going to be handy, uh, especially for uh, rubber cement, which I love to use, but I hate having to spread because it's so messy. Uh, so, yeah, I got that for just crafting in general. And then I found this huge roll of contact paper. Um, which I thought was like the really pretty, um, this really pretty pattern. And I found it for $1.99. It's a little squished, but I love contact paper. Um, and I do a lot of like crafting. So I'll use this in junk journals, but I'll also use it in other things. Um, and then some of these I bought, these three books I bought because I'm an art person. Um, this is a, a book of drawings. And I found this, um, <laughs> this flight uh, boarding pass and everything. So I'm going to keep that junk journal with. Um, 
but it's a it's a really pretty book um, with really pretty slides and pages and everything. So there's Matisse and Monk. Um, so I just bought these for myself. Um, they're they're pretty to put on the coffee table and stuff. So I got that and I got another one, the Story of Painting. I don't know if I'll actually keep this as a um, a book that I want to use on my coffee table or if I'll try to chop it up or turn it into something. Um, I think it's probably half and half. And then I found this as well, which is um, the Impressionist and Modern Masters in Dallas, Monet to Mondrian. And, you know, again, as an art person, this is just slides of artwork. Um, I could chop this up and use it in my junk journals, but I also could just leave it and look at it from time to time. So I bought those $1.79 um, <laughs> because I love books and I compulsively buy them when I see them. So here are books I decided to get for junk journaling. This looks like it used to be a library book. So that means I have all these little things I can pull out and play with. Oh, so satisfying. Uh, definitely using that. Um, and then when I take off this back, it has this pretty spine. I could use this as a journal. Um, but it has these really pretty uh, illustrations in it. And I thought... Yeah, I should I should get that pretty birds and and things I can cut out, um, things I can paint on, um, and it's got that paper that's like the good paper, you know. So I decided to get that, and then this is loving thoughts, um, and I got it mostly because it there are some some pretty little flower um, illustrations in here that I can pull out. Um, and then just pretty, pretty words. Um, I may be able to junk journal with some of these words too. Uh, so I'm going to tear this book apart, um, for sure to use as, um, ephemera and all that stuff. And then I found this book and I don't know if I'm going to junk journal with it or not. It's called The Principles of Uncertainty by Myra Kalman. And it's just so quirky. Um, even like the spine and even the, the back of it looks really cool. Um, it's almost all illustrated. So I'm going to show you. It's so artistic. I may keep it just as is because this is um, the most unusual book I think I've come across. I love the illustration. I love the text. Um, and when I looked at it, I was like, I have to have that. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it or if I'm just going to leave it on a table somewhere. But um, I love that she has this project back here, Things That Fall Out of Books. Um, I love to find things in other people's books um, when I buy books from the secondhand store, um, like packets and things like that. So she she is a, um, a person that is after my own heart because she likes the same things I like, obviously. So I think I may even just keep this because it's just a cool book. Um, but when I saw this tag, I was like, oh, I got to look at that. And when I opened it up, I was like shocked by how cool it was. <laughs> so that may be just a book that I leave around. That was one bag. And you guys are going to die when you see how much stuff I got here. I'm going to go ahead and just take all this out. Maybe I should do a little bit at a time here. Oh, I have more books that I forgot about. Oops. Let's go through the books. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I got a Russian. I'm assuming this is a Russian uh, or a Cyrillic some sort um, dictionary and I just really liked the pages so and it, it could be a little junk journal too because it's already kind of falling apart um so I found that and I thought that was really cool um and the handwriting in Cyrillic and then they have some kind of pages back here that are like grids interesting so definitely junk journaling, definitely junk journaling with this. I'm always on the lookout for bird um, books. And this has lots of bird uh, 
well, it has lots of words in it, but it also has like bird pictures and illustrations and um, just cool stuff in here. So I was like, yeah, definitely getting that. And it's got the really thin paper, um, which is fun, except for these pages. Um, so I figured I could do something with this. Oh, there's a scrap piece of paper. Okay, and then I got this Only Companion Japanese Poems of Love and Longing. Um, and I just saw these little poems that were in Japanese and also in English and thought, this is great. And then also, of course, there's some beautiful illustrations, but I was like, definitely gonna use this to junk journal because um, how beautiful to have some poetry. I can even tuck those in maybe some of the pockets. And then I found this. It looks like somebody else junk journaled, um, but they didn't actually journal in it. They left it open. Uh, so I may take some of these pages out. I love um, the cover. I love the pattern. It was 99 cents. And they, they bound it with um, good thread. And then it looks like they made their own paper. Um, it has like the homemade paper, but it has uh, little pieces of um, glitter in it and I just thought it was really cute so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that maybe as a notebook first um, or a, a sketchbook and then turn it into a junk journal um, so that's all the books I believe and then I got I'm telling you I bought so much I shouldn't have bought everything but um, laser print to the edge oval labels um, I like that they're shaped oval $2.99 for this pack and um, it might have been opened at some point, but I think, yeah, it's been opened, but I don't know if it's all been used because there's still a ton in here. Um, yeah, and they're kind of, they're kind of glossy, so it might be a little harder to use as I might paint on those. Um, but $2.99 for that. And then this is shrink wrap. I cannot believe um, not shrink wrap, but shrinky dinks, like the bake it's, you bake, you draw on it, and then you bake them, and they get small. This was $2.99, this pack, and it's never been opened. It's still in the plastic. Um, I never find stuff like this, so I was shocked, but I thought even if I don't bake with it, it's going to be like see-through, so it'll make perfect pockets. I can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, yeah, I can paint on it, make it small, um, and then another pack of labels, but these are just the, they're a variety pack, so that's part of why I grabbed them. $2.99 for this, and um, I believe it's been opened as well, but it has a bunch of different sizes. So let me open. So we've got, these are like small labels large labels, we got practice sheets here, <laughs> and return address labels. So yeah, lots of labels. Um, I figured I could make my own stickers with these. And I could not believe, because I, I literally was like, I've got to at least get some um, transfer or some, not transfer, some transparent paper today, um, translucent paper rather. And they had for $1.99 a pad in the uh, second Goodwill I went to, and it's really like tracing paper. It's really thin, um, and so yeah, I, it says 50 sheets. I don't know if there's actually 50 sheets there, but there's a lot, so I'm happy with that purchase. So I was super excited to come across that, and then um, these are round, not oval, but round um, labels, and I, I don't know if they've been opened. They don't really look like they've been opened, but $2.99, so I got more, and then Printable tags. I could not believe it. $2.99 for these printable tags. And they don't look like they've been opened either. So, I'm going to pull them out. How cool. And they're already kind of punched for me. So, I was really excited about that. I don't know if you can see because the lighting in here is terrible. But, um, but there's like a tag shape. And they're like medium size. Um, and then I found this box of tags that are 99 cents. Um, there's 99 cents. And um, 
They're, they look like they've been untouched. So there was 100 tags in this. And they're the kind of the medium small size. Um, I also found self laminating pouches for 99 cents. And they're like the smaller. Um, but that's awesome. <laughs> I was super excited about that. I saw, um, I follow somebody else. I uh, will try to link her below, but I follow somebody else and she uses these CD covers, um, as folders or little, um, little flaps in her book and puts designs in here and stamps and paints and whatnot. Um, so I was super excited to find this. It was 99 cents, of course, because nobody wants these anymore. Um, but it was literally... 30, a 30 pack and they're different colors. Hers were all white. So this might be fun to play with because um, there's lots of different colors here. 99 cents. I got these um, please join us cards, which uh, the, a few of the people that I follow, 99 cents, um, a few of the people I follow are using cards like this as pockets, um, just cutting off what they don't need and using it as a pocket, and I loved this flower. I thought the, the colors were so pretty, um, and they're from Hallmark originally, so, and then they come with their own little envelopes too, uh, which is fun. So, 99 cents there, and uh, I loved these, I, so I had to grab them. They were originally 250 from Pier 1, um, and I got them for 99 cents, but they're huge paper clips, and they're shaped like uh, flowers. So, I was like, yeah, I've got it. You know, I've got to get those. Definitely. Definitely. I'm starting to lose myself here. And then this bag for $1.99 of stickers. Just a ton of stickers. Um, pages and pages of stickers. So, uh, random, I mean, like I hit the jackpot in this place. Um, random stickers, pretty stickers. Look, how pretty. I'm like super excited. $1.99 for these. I can't even believe I got all of these for $1.99. I'm glad I didn't go crazy at Dollar Tree now with stickers, but I love just the patterns and stuff and they're already sticky. So that was fun. And I got another bag here for 99 cents. I figured I would use this up. Um, it has some file folder labels, um, but it also had staples. All this for 99 cents. I kept thinking, you know, I've got staples, and if I went to buy staples, it would be a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I'm paying for what I would pay for at the Dollar Tree to get staples, but I was getting index cards and labels and something else back here, a pad that I didn't get a good look at. It was meant for me to go today, I think. I did spend enough money though. Oh, and these are the these are the actual just cards, cards. They don't even have the lines on them, so that's great because I can definitely use those. And this is like a to-do list, so that's just a little paper. Um, I like the, I could make washi tape out of that. And then, oh, there's three of these. So they're different colored and they're super vintage. You can see they're like old looking, which is kind of fun. I like the, um, I like the, the agedness of it. It's pretty authentic. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm gonna have to put all those in a, in a box together. And then of course I got this box of staples, which I always need staples. So that's great. I'm not done yet. I'm telling you, the second trip, um, or the second place I went was awesome. Now, another thing that I was crazy excited to find, there's so much of this. It's $2.99, this pack of laminating paper. And I'm, when I'm saying it's like a ton, like all of these are sheets of laminating paper. I don't even really know how to use this laminating paper. I guess I just... Yeah, I don't even know how to use that, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, here we go. So, I put uh, this down in it, and I'd have to have a, a laminator to heat it, or um, there we go. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. I could do pressed flowers with this. I could do so much stuff. 
$2.99 for all that. Um, and then I just about choked when I saw this. Golden Soft Gel Matte uh, um, Medium, Matte Medium, which is super expensive in the stores. $1.99, and it, it's not even really been opened. Um, so I, I'm a painter, so that was super exciting. I can use this um, on junk journals or anything else. Um, and then I bought these three little things, which, um, this was definitely an impulse. Uh, I think they charged me 99 cents for these, but, um, on one of the videos that I saw with, um, one of the people I follow, she had these cards and they weren't city blocks or anything, but they were just cards and she would cut them like a third of the way down and she would put a um a little peekaboo card so we'll say this um maybe is the card and it would attach to the top and it would hide down in the second part which is a pocket um on the page and i was like you know what i'm gonna do that i want to have a little secret place to hide thoughts and and whatnot and i found this and this just has uh, this is the the Washington D.C. like map, essentially, and it has a ton of those cards. They're they're very sturdy. Um, so I got that, and then I found this little mini games, um, which is also a box of cards. Uh, I'm just going to toss these all into one box, but um, I liked the pattern and I loved the little pictures on them. They're like super cute. So I figured I could use those in some way um, because they're just adorable as pockets or something else. Um, I can even use them to mail things to my nephew um, who is eight. And then this is in French, I noticed, um, but it's like a little card game. And I figured I could do the same thing with this. Um, it's got the cutest little people or little animals um, and a pretty pattern on the back. So I was like, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that with some of these because um, I don't have any, that, you know, they're not dear to me. Um, I just bought them so I can, I can do lots of things with these, I think. Look how cute that is. So yeah, these are the things that I got at the second Goodwill that I went to. And that's everything that I bought at Goodwill. Um, and I'm gonna prepare the stuff that I got at um, Dollar Tree and make that the next clip here. Okay, last haul clip. Our Dollar Tree has these really nice thick bags. Um, and I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I got um, because I, I, you know, I figured I'll go in and see what all they have. I got some gum, um, which is obviously for this, but I'm just dump this bag out. I got these cute stickers. How cute are these? Little um, little trucks, and I love the little flowers and vines and everything. I thought those were cute. Um, and then I got these little paper clips that have little tassels on them. I thought those would be cute to go on my junk journal. Um, got two packs of those. I got these because I saw another junk journaler use these as um, a pocket and um, in their signature they'd have like things they could flip in and then on the other side in the signature they would put a pocket on this. Uh, so I grabbed a pack of them. I got some of the fastener dots um, just for closing uh, pockets and things like that. And then I got a, uh, a whiteout pen um, just because I wanted to be able to add paint to things. Um, and whiteout helps me go over the paint. And then I got these um, washable school glue pens because I've seen some uh, junk journalers use this type of, um, well, maybe not this type, but use like a glue pen. Um, I also got this disappearing purple spray adhesive just in case I wanted to add like fabric to something. Um, I got a correction tape. I do have some of these that are for um, double-sided tape as well uh, that I got at Dollar Tree and I haven't used them yet, but I'm gonna try them out. 
And then I decided to get these two types of double-sided tape um, because this one was thinner and this one was thicker. So I thought I'd experiment with those. And I got some instant coffee to try to dye some of my pages um, or stain some of my pages rather. And then last thing I got was this receipt book um, just because I thought this was kind of neat paper. Um, I might write on some of them and then use the, um, the carbon copy as well. So yeah, so I, I got that. I think my total at Dollar Tree was $21.08. My total at the uh, first Goodwill was $28.01. And then my total at the second Goodwill was $59 even because um, I rounded up. And so for about $100, I bought all of that. I feel like I did really well. Tell me if you think um, some of this was overpriced or if there was some place I could have gotten it cheaper um, or if I got a really good deal. Let me know uh, what you think.